In this video, I want to go through how to set up your own public pool instance and point to your Bitax to your own node rather than using somebody else's node. So we'll log in using our Satoshi Satoshi credentials to our node box and we'll head on over to the terminal. Um, and then we will clone this repository. Um, it's Benjamin Wilson slash public dash pool. I'll leave the link in the description. Um, and so we'll copy that or, or clone this repository. So it's copy this here and git clone and paste that through. Okay, so that's now cloning. Um, and so you'll see when you ls that out, you've got a new folder called public dash pool. Um, and then what we'll do is cd into public dash pool like that and ls that out. And now we've got a couple of files that we need to edit and amend. Um, so the first one is the docker compose file. So we'll go nano docker dash compose dot yml um, and enter. And what we want to do is instead of 127.0.0.1, we'll change that to 0.0.0 and same for down here as well. So it should look like that. Okay. Control X. Uh, y and enter should save that. Now, if you look here, there is a .env uh, .example file. So what we're going to do is we're going to copy .env .example and make that just .env. Okay, and then we're going to nano that as well. So we'll go uh, nano .env. Okay. Now. In terms of the Bitcoin RPC URL, uh, I'm going to change that to 172.17.0.1. Um, and where I got that from is if you control X, Y, and enter, and if you go to IPA like that, uh, what you want is the Docker zero uh, number. And it says here 172.17.0.1. So that's what we're going to put in there. So I'm just going to go back up and nano.env again. And so it's 172.17.0.1. The user is uh, Bitcoin and the password is also Bitcoin. And pretty much everything here uh, can stay uh, as the defaults. So we'll go control X, Y and enter. Uh, to save that and the only thing that's left to do here is to just run this docker container so when we're in this um, in this folder we can run docker compose up and dash d like that that's now just installing everything Okay, that looks like it has completed. So we'll go up to the top there um, and we'll type in docker, doc, uh, docker space ps just to see that we have public pool installed on port um, 83333. Okay, and that's now all we really need to um, mine to our own node. So I'm going to cd back um, one directory here and I'm going to type in tail dash f um, dot bitcoin debug dot log like that and this will give me all of the um, uh, the outputs of my um, log file for bitcoin and this is where I'm going to now change over um, to the this pool here um, so we're going to go to our bitax dashboard and go over to uh, pool settings and here we'll put in, change this to nodebox.local, uh, port 83333. And yeah, we'll just hit save and let's restart. And we'll go over to the dashboard. And you'll see now um, that a create new block has opened up in the logs, which suggests now that your Bitax is actually mining to this node and not somebody else's node, which is really, really handy. Okay. That's awesome. Okay. Now 
uh, the next thing that I want to do is install a graphical user interface. So if you go to web.publicpool.io like that, you'll see this uh, interface. Um, what we want is our own interface. And so you can get that from um, this repository here, public-pool-ui, and we'll go and um, yeah, we'll, we'll install this. So let's control C to get out of that, out of our dashboard. Um, and then I'll oh, just bring that up to the top. Okay, so now I'm going to clone this repository in my home directory. So I'm gonna copy this and git clone, paste that through like so, and that'll download away. And now if I ls that, I'll get a public pool UI folder. So I'm gonna cd into public pool dash UI like this, and we'll list that out. Now, we want to modify some uh, things in the source. So we're gonna do uh, CD SRC uh, and then list that out and then go into the environments folder, uh, just like that and ls that. And we're gonna edit something in the environment.prod.ts. So nano uh, environment.prod.ts. And the API URL is actually going to be uh, HTTP uh, and then nodebox.local, like that. And the port is going to be 3334. And the stratum URL is going to be nodebox.local uh, 3333, like that, okay. Uh, we'll go control X, Y, and enter to save that. And then we need to build this Docker um, container. So we'll CD back to uh, the public UI, public pool UI folder, and we'll go down um, and it is this command here. So I'm going to copy this and I'm going to build this out. So like that. Okay, so that looks like it has completed. So we now need to run this container that we've just built. Um, so we're gonna copy this and modify it just a little bit. So copy all of this and paste that in like so. Um, the edits that I'm gonna make is it's gonna be uh, in the run, it's gonna be dash D like that. And, and then dash dash restart unless uh, space unless dash stopped and then space dash dash name, public pool UI, and then we'll get rid of this dash dash RM and we'll leave everything as is. I'll put this in the um, description. Oh, just a spelling mistake here. So we'll do stopped like that. And that should be able to run now. So we'll hit enter. And now if you look at Docker PS, you will see um, uh, a public pool UI alongside the normal public pool. Um, so those two containers are now running. Um, and this one is on port 8080. So if we open up a new tab and go to nodebox.local colon 8080, we will see our own public pool um, with the 1.1 1, 1 .1 tera hash that I'm working and it's got my bit axe in there. Okay, perfect. So yeah, that's how you would get your own dashboard um, as well as mine to your own Bitcoin node. Thanks for watching. And if you'd like to support the work that I'm doing, head on over to ministryofnodes.com.au and click on the support button. If you'd like to have one-on-one -on -one consulting, click on the consulting button and book a session on the calendar widget. And if you'd like to purchase a Bitcoin node, head on over to the shop and purchase one from shop.ministryofnodes.com. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.